what's going on? Just wanted to come on in real, real quick. I was reading it. I saw this post. It's talking about stress and how to, and all these different ways that you can stop stress and you know stop, uh, you know, being stressed. And I started writing this post. I was like, this is not a post, this is a live. We need to go live, right? Because there's nothing like video. My, my good friend, um, Gordon Paul, uh, you know, he's sort of the, the master of, of doing video. And shout out to Gordon Paul. I can only hope to, to do as, as well as you. But regardless, if you're watching this live, hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, uh, hashtag replay. Um, so talking about stress, right? Um, and what it does and, and, um, and how to sort of not let it um, run our lives. More importantly, why is it important to, to not let it run your life? To, um, because what happens when you get like super stressed? Your body goes into to fight or flight mode. And just like that, this blast of adrenaline is shot into your body. And what happens then? Well, in the, in the case of, you know, when we used to, you know, when our ancestors used to have to, you know, fight off bears or, you know, run from bears or whatever, we didn't live in these beautiful houses with, you know, heating and all this stuff. Back then, that fight or flight mode allowed us to fight off whatever it was or run from it so that we would survive, you know, another day. But right now, what tends to happen is we're going into fight or flight mode over things like, uh, you know, somebody cut me off when I'm driving down the road or, um, you know, am I gonna be able to, to buy that thing or, um, you know, like these things are not like survival, right? Or, you know, we're in an argument with somebody over football or <clears throat> whatever it is, right? So even though these are not uh, life and death problems, our body, you know, is still responding like they are. And it's going into flight, fight or flight mode and that blast of adrenaline is coming into your body. And then what happens, right? What happens is, is it has to go somewhere. Now, if we're in a fight or flight mode, where it goes is action. Right? Hey, what's up, John? How you doing? Shout out to John Palmer. Um, but, um, so, if, if you're in a fight or flight mode, like a real situation, like you're, you know, somebody's attacking you literally, then fight or flight gives you more strength, you know, whatever. But, if you're going into fight or flight <clears throat> simply because you are stressed out over some, you know, thing, then that adrenaline has to go somewhere. It has to go and do something. And what it, what it does is it, it, uh, it breaks down your body just a little bit. It makes your heart you know, run harder, you know, all these different things. Obviously, you know, most people know that if you're stressed out a lot, then you can end up with high blood pressure and you know, all these physical things, ulcers and stuff like that. But the, but the real thing that stress is costing you is that when you go into fight or flight mode, your thinking brain, your creative brain, the, the one that uh, you really want to be operating with shuts off. Just evolutionally, it's designed to do that. When you go into stress mode, your primitive mind takes over. Right? Because fight or flight comes from evolution and, you know, back when we were fighting off, <clears throat> you know, bears and saber-toothed tigers and stuff like that. So immediately, as soon as you go into fight or flight mode, your 
thinking brain shuts off. Your creativity, your ability to, to think, uh, you know, on your feet, it, it becomes, it, you know, you get tunnel vision, like what do I need to do? Am I gonna fight or am I gonna run? And as you might think, you know, if you think about it for a second, that's not really the way you want to go through life. Uncreative, you know, very reactive, right? So that's the first problem with living in stress is that it shrinks down your ability and, you know, the way that you're going to be able to respond. So you're less likely to, to be creative in your responses. Um, and, you know, and soon, if you kind of are always in the stress cycle, then every little thing starts to seem like a forest fire. And when actuality is just like a, you know, it's a little fire in a, in a trash can. But when you're always under stress, when you're always in this stress cycle, then it becomes easier and easier and easier to fall into the cycle. And every time you fall into the cycle, then you are more likely to respond out of proportion. So you're more likely to use more resources, you're more likely to, to be angry, etc. Here's the other thing that if you're living in stress is happening, and you may not know, and that's why I'm here to tell you, to talk about this with you, is your perception, like how you, your, your expectation drives your reality. Right? So if you don't expect to see it, and many times you won't, or if you expect to see something a certain way, that's what you're going to see. There was a, a, a study that they did a long time ago, and in it, these five people are passing this basketball around very, very fast. It's just this tape, and they're all passing this basketball around, and then they get these people to look at this tape, and they're only told... To, to count how many times the guy wearing the white shirt touches the basketball. So they're watching this tape and they're all counting, right? And then, like five minutes into the tape, this dude in a gorilla suit walks in to that middle of that circle, turns towards the camera, beats his chest, is on the, on the tape for like seven seconds. And then they ask the... Uh, the participants about the guy in the ape suit. And they didn't see him because they didn't expect to see him. And when you're dealing with stress all the time, you start to start sort of growing, you know, these cynical, negative, um, you know, uh, self-critical uh, voices and, and thoughts. And, and that starts changing how you see your world, how you're going to see possibilities in your world. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're a, you know, whatever it is, then, you know, all that stress cycle, all that stress that you're always dealing with, that is literally changing how you are able to, to think creatively and see creatively because expectation drives reality. You don't expect to see it. It's just like if you're, you know, you're looking for your keys, you're looking for your keys, you're wandering around, where are them keys, where are my keys? And you're positive you left those keys like, you know, right next to the refrigerator. And you go and check to that like three times because you're like positive. You left those keys right there. And then somebody's like, hey, are those your keys right next to the TV? Because you passed the TV like four times, but you weren't expecting to see those keys next to that TV. Expectation. So living under stress, anxiety, panic attacks, whatever it is, it gets heavy, you know, 
and when it gets heavy, then, you know, self-doubt and, you know, what I call weeds start growing in the inner garden. And as that happens, and we don't, you know, break that up, we don't start dealing with our situation differently, then <clears throat> that starts changing how we're going to see the world. It starts changing our level of expectation. So, if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts on that, please uh, reach out. I am uh, I'm here to help, however I can. Namaste, everybody. <laughs>